queen dropped in beyond her neck as public refuses to pay up for palace restoration. The queen was left struggling with a furious backlash after members of the public refused to fork out the money needed to go ahead with the restoration of Windsor Castle. The Queen faced widespread criticism after the Prime Minister John Major said the taxpayer would fund the restoration of Windsor Castle, only to face a public revolt. The royal family's Berkshire Castle, long considered to be Her Majesty's favourite residence, suffered extensive damage after a devastating fire in 1992. Former Press Secretary Dickie Arbiter said, The Queen and Prince Philip were dropped into it beyond their necks right up to their eyebrows. Speaking to Channel 5's Philip, the King Without Crown, former BBC commentator Jenny Bond said, she seemed like a rather sad, old lady at that moment. But things got worse because the government said that they would pay. In other words, the taxpayers would pay for the repairs at Windsor Castle. And this caused outrage. The fire damage was found to be so extensive it would take several years to fully restore the castle, with the final bill coming up at an estimated £36 half million. The Queen would later describe 1992 as her annus horribilis because of three of her children separating or divorcing in quick succession, and the fire. Her Majesty is said to have heavily relied on the unwavering support of Prince Philip who personally took charge of the restoration project. Jenny Bond continued, Philip was in Argentina when the fire broke out and he spent long hours that evening on the phone to the Queen trying to comfort her because she was absolutely distraught by what was happening. Philip decided he would take a leading role in the restoration project and it's just the sort of thing a practical man like him could get on with really well. He oversaw practically all of it. Royal commentator Penny Jr. said that the Duke of Edinburgh's stepping up strengthened further his relationship with the Queen and provided him with the chance to be useful as his children's marriages unraveled. Ems Jr. said, I think that was a hugely important moment for their marriage. Metaphorically, he couldn't mend his children's marriages but what he could do, and be useful doing, was restore Windsor Castle. The Duke had previously shown his strong decoration skills as he oversaw the modernization of Buckingham Palace when he and the Queen took up residence after the accession. Philip took over the chairmanship of the Restoration Committee and led efforts to bring back Windsor Castle to its previous glory with architectural work especially calculated to match the Gothic style of the residence. While the Queen herself has always been rather fond of the Berkshire home, even picking it to relocate her activities during the lockdown, the Duke of Edinburgh also shares a special bond with the home. Both his mother, Princess Alice of Greece and Denmark, and grandmother Princess Victoria of Hesse were born in the castle during the reign of Queen Victoria.